Hey everybody, this is Ryan Higley in the Instructional Technology Center, and today I was going to talk to you about adaptive release inside Blackboard. So what is adaptive release? Well, it's a way to release content to your students based on rules that you've set up. So those rules might be uh, you're not allowed to see a certain set of content until you've gotten a certain score on a quiz or you've um, set a review that you've reviewed an item uh, in a module, let's say. Or it could even be that only groups of students are going to uh, uh, get certain content while other groups get a different type of content. So uh, when would you ever use a tool like this? If you're watching this video through the Blackboard self pace course, you've been exposed to adaptive release uh, the entire time. And how we've utilized that is once you're inside the module, you can't move on to the next module until you've passed the quiz at the end of each module. So you could use it for that. Um, other specific examples that you might use is uh, if you're combining two classes together, which a lot of times people do, uh, you could just say, I know I want this certain content to go to this group of students and this other type of content to go to a second group of students. Uh, another way you could do it is if um, you could uh, restrict students from going to a discussion board or, uh, or even being able to take a quiz or something like that until they've reviewed uh, the, the material for that quiz. So you'll get a little checkbox and it'll show that they reviewed it and then they can open up the, uh, uh, the quizzes. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this. In fact, there's two types of adaptive release. There's sort of the simple adaptive release that we're going to talk about in this video. And then there's also the advanced adaptive release, which we'll talk about in the next video, which is creating multiple rules. But uh, for right now, we're going to jump into a Blackboard course. We're actually going to use the uh, Blackboard self-paced training and I'm going to add an item to it and show you how you would uh, add adaptive release functions uh, to that item. All right, so let's do it. Uh, right now, I am in our Blackboard course and uh, I'm just going to create an item in one of our modules and uh, show you how that you would uh, add some adaptive release uh, rules to it. So I'm going to click into getting started in Blackboard. Great, and I'm going to build a content item. Now this content item is going to be uh, very, very uh, simple. So the content item is just going to be badge. And I'm going to write something like Okay. Now you'll see at this point there's nothing here that says anything about adaptive release. You can create items inside a Blackboard and not have to worry about it at all until afterwards. So right now I'm just going to leave it exactly as it is and I'm going to hit submit. Okay, so it's added it to the bottom. And here's our congratulations on earning your new badge. Now when I go back in and I click on the little downward arrow to get the options for this item, you can see that I have adaptive release up here at the top. Now here's the advanced one, we'll talk about that one later, but we're just going to do the original adaptive release. So the very first option up here at the top is sort of the same option that you might have been doing a lot. This is choose the date when you want this to be uh, visible to your students. So that's already available when, when you're creating this item in the beginning, so I, I don't necessarily use that for this. Uh, but there, but you might want to add a date and then have membership to it or, or something for that. So, so you can choose a date in here. You can also do membership, which means that if I browse, if I hit the browse button here, okay, so this will show you uh, everyone in the course and I can just select people that I want to be able to see this content. So this might be where if you had two classes, this is where you would select them. So I'm going to say that just Adam and I can see this, uh, this content. So I'm gonna scroll down and hit okay. Submit. All right, so now just these two people can view this content. Now, if I wanna add something on top of that, so maybe it's just Adam and Ryan that can see this content, but I'm also going to force them to uh, have gotten a certain grade on the test. So before before we got into uh, the uh, basics, getting started in in, uh, in Blackboard, they had to go through the what is Blackboard and get a and get a, a score on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a grade center column. 
and I am going to say that very first one was important things to know before you start test. So I'm going to say before you can see this item, you really have to uh, uh, have at least seen this and, and, and attempted to take this test. So that's what it defaults to you as, that the user has to have at least one attempt for this item, then they can move on, or for this test, and then they can see your item. But actually, what I want is I want to make sure that both Adam and I had to get 100% on that. I mean, we should be able to. We moderate Blackboard. Come on, I should be able to get 100% on that, and so should he. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the score to equal equal to three. And how do I know that the amount of points on that test, because I made that test a while ago, I don't know how exactly how many it is, right here in this number that's next to uh, the, the test name is how many uh, points is possible for that test. They throw that in the, they throw that in there because they know you're going to forget. So I know that now the score has to be equal to three for either Adam or Ryan to see that new content that I put in. So we can also do scores, we can say percents, we can say that we want it to be equal or greater to or equal or less than. Uh, we can also say give a, uh, uh, a point value that in between. So if they got maybe a two or a three, you could give them two of that either way. So that's very flexible in that, in that grading sense. And again, this is exactly how it's working in Blackboard self Pace right now. So the fourth one down is review status. And what this will do is this will uh, uh, create a review status checkbox on any item that you want to be reviewed before this new content can be seen. So what that would be is let's say there was a PDF or a video or anything that you wanted to make sure that is reviewed before this new content can be opened. What it'll do is it'll add a little checkbox, the student will watch the video or they will uh, read the content and then they'll check the box when they're done and that's what will open up the, uh, the new content. So how you'll do that is it'll say select item, you'll browse to it and it'll open up this structure of your entire course. Come on, Blackboard, you bum. Open up. There we go. All right, so this gives me all the different content items that I have. So I'm going to say that if, if they've read about Welcome to self placed Blackboard training, then that's good enough for, to, uh, uh, to get that content open. So I'm gonna click on that. Then you can go down to the bottom and see that it's put that uh, item in here. So then I'm going to click submit. And so at this point, we've added three different things to this. We've said only Ryan and Adam can see this content. They can, we can also say that Adam and Ryan can see it, but only if they've passed this important things to know before you start test with a 100% three out of three. And then also they have to have reviewed the welcome to self-paced uh, Blackboard training. Uh, uh, I, I think it's just writing. Uh, in that one. So as long as they've done all those things, then they're going to be able to see this new content that we've added. So I'm going to hit submit. And this is just saying that we're going to turn on some review for your selected item, and I'm fine with that. I'm gonna hit OK. All right, so now we're back in the, in the main section. I'm going to go over here to welcome. And then we're going to be able to see it. Now, you can't see the checkbox now because it says enabled review. So, so we know it's there. But if I go over to this edit mode and turn it off, this would be an approximation of what the students would see. Okay, and there it is. You'd have to mark this as reviewed to, to be able to open up that new content item. So that's what the checkbox will look like. All right, so those are a few different ways that you can use uh, adaptive release in your Blackboard course. Um, you even saw me add a few different ones, even through just the simple adaptive release uh, options. So in the next video that you're going to see, we're going to talk more about adaptive release and show you some of the advanced tools. Thank you for watching this video.